everybody out there. Hello, brothers and sisters. We're a few days out now before the installation process begins. I have heard that Her Majesty has already arranged for the permit for fireworks to be blown up in celebration and in advance of the, the bigger fireworks, the nuclear weapons she plans to uh, subject us all to. But don't worry, because somehow Donald Trump is going to save you. <laughs> so have you heard today, hundreds of water protectors attempting to cross footbridges built over Cantapita Creek to reach the construction area. Big battle going on. All kinds of militarized police. Same old bullshit, same old crap, same old lies, same old betrayal, same old cholera-laden blankets. Disgusting. And I saw that the great dictators learned from one another what was essentially a blueprint for closing down an open society. We've got a crisis. We're at war. The enemy is plotting to attack us. This proposal will allow us to gather intelligence information on that enemy that we otherwise would not get. I get a People's questions talking about our agenda. People's questions talking about our agenda. People's questions talking about our agenda. You're laughing on two separate occasions, laughing at the girl who was raped. Is there something to be done about the way protesters are being treated right now, though? They're getting sprayed with rubber bullets. We're seeing some kind of shocking footage. Yeah, I, I mean, it's a challenging situation. Um, I, I think that uh, my general rule uh, when I talk to governors and, and state and local officials, uh, whenever they're dealing with protests, including, for example, during the Black Lives Matters protests, is there is an obligation for protesters to uh, be peaceful. Good evening, brothers and sisters. It's your friend Vegematic, or your enemy, depending on your point of view. I don't know. I'm going crazy. The depression is overwhelming. The closer we get, the scarier everything gets. The more insane everything gets. The, the world seems to be this big bubbling cauldron that's about to explode. I don't know what to believe anymore. What do you believe on, uh, on YouTube and there's various news organizations that are telling you lies and there's this person that is putting a spin on it this way and that way and everything. All I know is it's completely insane. And the less time I spend worrying about it, the better for my sanity. Um, this is the big, uh, the, the, the big TV screen that was a good idea for having shit going on behind me and everything. It worked fine one day. Now if I turn it on, now all of a sudden, and this was just after the warranty ran out two years, right? Pew, dead. Dead as a, dead as a doornail. So, I don't have that anymore. I've just got to take it to the recycling place where they send it off to China and give people 
cancer from the various compounds that are in it along with our other discarded computer and uh, tech stuff, right? When I was a kid, my parents bought a TV in the late 50s and kept it for years and years and years. Continued to work. But no, we, there's nothing made here anymore. This is made to uh, become a, an environmental hazard because it's more profitable to make them really cheaply than to make any sort of product that is going to last and, and not to be replaced. So I'm going to take a sledgehammer tomorrow to this. No, I, I would really like to, but I'm more responsible than that. And there's all kinds of fucking cadmium and poisons and everything so best to send it to china where children can recycle it and and sit in the the, the smoking heaping pile of of technology we've heard about the uh, the spirit cooking spirit cooking isn't that something and this is the kind of craziness that goes on we've heard about trump being accused of tying down a 13-year-old girl uh, involved with Jeffrey Epstein, of course, the same as Bill Clinton. So they both run in the same kind of weird black magic circles. Marina Abramovich. She's a very strange, strange lady who's involved in some very strange rituals. You know, anybody that knows about Aleister Crowley and about uh, the Beatles, Yoko Ono. Have you ever read a book by May Pang, who was John Lennon's girlfriend and when he was broken up with Yoko? And she talks in it about uh, a lot of black magic that uh, allegedly Yoko was involved in. And it really doesn't surprise me because when you're talking about the elite at this level and people that have so much money and everything, how do they hold on to their power? Now, some of you might be going, this is all crazy. She's a performance artist, which is true. It's been a weird year, hasn't it? And I think most people have probably seen that weird David Bowie video that was his last thing. It's creepy as hell. Gave me nightmares. I remember seeing David Bowie. I think it was around 1980 in Ottawa. And I was amazed by the magnetism in, in this thing of the people in the front row were all like worshipful to him and I knew that there was kind of an occult thing going on there uh, and then when you see the the sad last video and I'm thinking to myself watching this and, I, and what made me so disturbed by this was that here's a man dying and lost in darkness, who had had everything. Huge stars, huge accolades. And what does it all mean? It all turns to shit in the end. I'm telling everybody out there, it turns to shit really fast. Now I'd like to talk a little bit about Michael Trim and the Michael Trim show. And a couple of months back, it looked like I might actually hit the big time on YouTube uh, because all of a sudden I had a bunch of subscribers and, and, and views and stuff that I had never in five years. You know, basically, I have been completely ignored on YouTube occasionally making it up to a couple of hundred views here and there. And then all of a sudden, the whole thing about Michael Trim disappearing. Now, 
I hate to say this. I do not like to uh, um, denigrate anybody. But I have to say that in my humble opinion, Michael Trim is a bit of a con artist. And now he's a Trumpling supporting Trump. Uh, my suspicions grew because I posted some of his supposedly top secret stuff that got him threatened and everything. And I fell for it a little bit. I was concerned for the man because I, th I thought he was a serious journalist. I can't say that anymore. He's joined the Alex Jones crowd, the right wing extremists, uh, the Nazi Trump supporters. And I can certainly understand people doing anything to keep Hillary Clinton out of office because she's evil. But there's, I just keep saying, they're both so fucking evil, it doesn't matter. Nothing to do but crawl into our holes, cover our heads, and wait for the bombs to start falling. It's all this Crowleyism coming to fruition. Remember when you were a kid and you wanted to believe everything was okay? You wanted to believe that animals were happy, people were happy. Because when you're a kid, you can sort of see the, the world as, as beautiful and wondrous, which it is. But as you get older and you go through life, Disappointments begin to add up. Cynicism begins to creep in. And then by the time you get to be an old guy like me, you realize that the entire experience of our lives really adds up to very little. You can have all the toys in the world. And it leaves you empty. And these are the things that everybody is busy destroying the earth over. Material things. Electronics. That broke two years after I bought this fucker. RCA, remember when that was Radio Corporation of America? Right after the warranty wore out, too. Two-year warranty. That kill switch is built into all this shit. Hang on to the things that really matter. The people in your life that care about you. Some of us are lucky to have very special people in our lives that make our journey so much easier. But let's not forget about the ones that don't have that and that are are on the outside looking in. I don't know. I, 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 I'm just in a weird mood tonight. I've noticed I've gone from, from feeling like 3,500 views. <laughs> I am a star, baby. Now I'm down to 144. But you 144 that watched the last one will probably go down with this one. Uh, you're very special to me, and I, that is the reason I waste so much time making these videos. Let's spread some positivity, some love. Let's, let's change this shitty world, okay? Let's make it better. C can we do that? Good night, everybody. Sleep. Sleep and dream. Dream of a better day. Dream of a better world. Dream of a better way. Is anybody else?